Uh, it's a great day for New Jersey. The governor's strong leadership got a bipartisan budget passed with no tax increases, cuts spending uh, year over year from last year, and really lays the foundation for reform and prosperity in this state for the next decade. It's, it's a very good day for the state. Unanimous support for this budget by the Republican caucus, just enough votes from the Democrats to get it done. Uh, we work together to actually get something done for the people of the state of New Jersey. A lot of credit goes to the governor for his strong leadership on the issue. Uh, we couldn't keep going down the same road of taxing, and spending, and borrowing just to go from year to year. And so this budget takes us in a new direction. It says we're going to live within our means, we're only going to spend what we take in, and we're going to make the reforms necessary to uh, get our house in order. And then when we do that, and we've done that, now we can start to look at how to grow our economy, how to get real, permanent, lasting property tax reform, like uh, the governor's constitutional 2.5% cap uh, on property tax increases and all the other things that local elected officials need to save uh, taxpayer money at the local level. That's what we've now turned our focus on and, and uh, passing this budget in this way yesterday is the first step to doing that. Well, I think this is a budget that this governor wants. This is a very exciting day for the people of New Jersey. It's the beginning of a new foundation of affordability in, in New Jersey. Well, this is his first budget, and we provided with we provided his administration with a series of alternatives. So a lot of them were rejected uh, outright; some were negotiable. Um, and he made it clear this is the original budget that he had proposed. Um, this is the document he wanted to see ultimately pass. Uh, the Democrats did not want to stand in the way and shut government down. Because we've all learned from that in the past. So uh, we provided the necessary votes. He will now have the opportunity to go out and uh, defend it. And we hope it begins to solve some of the structural budget problems we have here in the state. We look forward to working with him next year uh, on next year's budget. And I think we're going to need to keep a close eye on the revenues immediately to see um, how it's going to impact next year. Because I just don't see this economy coming back as fast as we all hope it to.